sounding smart. Everybody's already said this stuff I'm gonna say. But Who you, am I looking you at, you me. or the camera? So we know the importance of strength training and why everyone, no matter the age, no matter the goals, why everyone needs to include resistance-based training in their own strength work. And the ultimate goal is the barbell. But the reason behind that is that you can't out-train or outgrow the barbell. There's always a way that you can progress, whether it's more reps, learning a tempo, or holding a pause in the bottom. There's simply no way to outperform the barbell. There are always ways to progress and get better. So that's your ultimate goal and where you ultimately wanna be. But let's say you're not there yet. The building block, the air squat, this is where we start. If you don't know how to properly perform an air squat, none of the steps in between will ever matter. So execute the air squat, focus on form, focus on consistency, build reps under time, and let's start crushing our squats. Because ultimately, these air squats are the most important fundamental building block of your heavy back squat. A wall sit, getting into that depth, getting in that position, learning your footing, driving your knees over your toes, keeping your chest upright, and spending some time under tension. It's a total body weight movement. It's gonna help us get from where we wanna be and where we currently are. We're gonna go into a goblet squat. That's gonna help you feel a little bit more stabilized, a little bit more balanced. The weight's gonna be right at your chest, but you still can execute that control on the way down, that strong drive on the way up, just like your ultimate goal, the way to do that with the barbell. We're gonna do an offset heavy dumbbell. What that's gonna teach is us how to brace, find our core stability, and learn how to balance more weight on one side than the other. That eventually will help you when you have the barbell because you're gonna need that balance. You're gonna need to learn how to position the weight on your back. Tempo, body weight squat. Stand up nice and tall. Really start to practice pulling your hips under you, keeping your shoulders down and open, keeping your abs pulled in, your footing that you need for those squats. Control on the way down, control on the way up, but let's add a tempo. Let's add a three count tempo maybe a two count pause and a strong drive on the way up from that squat. All things that you wanna know how to do when you execute your squats underneath that barbell. Yeah, so should I keep going? <laughs> <laughs>